Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of string concatenation without using predefined function, which is str cat. In the previous videos, we have discussed about the concept of various predefined string handling functions like str cat, str cpy, str cmp, and str len. But if we need to perform the same sort of task like string concatenation or string copy or string compare without using predefined function, then how we can perform this particular task? So in today's video, we will be trying to understand the concept of implementing the string concatenation without using str cat function. So first of all, I have declared here two strings. You can see there are two strings defined and declared and initialized. One is S1, second is S2. It is character array. So you can see that S1 and the size of that character array is 10. So there are 10 different positions here like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, and 9. So these are the different positions or the collection of individual character. And we know that character array is considered as a string in C programming. So we have initialized it to high and comma so that S1 of 0 is H, S1 of 1 is I, S S1 of 2 is comma. Now what is this? This is null character. It denotes that your string gets terminated over here. Whenever we are traversing a string and we reach at null character, it means that the string ends here. There is no more character exist in the string now. So null character is playing a very important role. It denotes that it identifies that it will tell the programmer that your string gets over here. Okay, so here null character will be playing a very important role. Now our main target is what our main target is joining the two string means what the value of S2. The value of S2 will be added in S1. The value of string 2 will be added in string 1. Now the second question comes to our mind where it will be added. So it will be added after the contents of string 1 gets over. It means in this particular case in S1 we have H, I and comma. So once this particular content gets over after that the contents of string 2 will be added in string 1. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to traverse string 1 and we need to reach at the end of string 1. So here you can see I have taken while loop and the condition is S1 of i is not equals to 1. Sorry, S1 of i is not equals to null. Now why null is being taken? So null will specify whether it is the end of string or not because we have just seen or we have just discussed that null character specifies that this is the end of the string. So what we need to do here i equals to 0. So our pointer is pointing to the first location and we need to traverse throughout the string until and unless we will be reaching at null character. We don't know right now where null character will come but we will be traversing one character at a time and we will be repeating the traversal until and unless we will be getting null character so that the condition is written s1 of i is not equals to null okay and we are incrementing the value of i so what will happen i is zero right now now if you if you execute this code you just write like this i equals to zero so S1 of i is H. So S1 of i here is H. 
if I write S1 of i, so S1 of i is what? H. Now i will become what? i will be incremented, so i will become 1. Now S1 of 1, so S1 of 1 is what? i. So here it is i. Now i will be incremented, now S1 of 2. So S1 of 2 is what? Comma. So it is comma. See, S1 of i, it is comma. It means it is not equals to null. So it will be incrementing. And likewise, we have h, i and comma. Now i becomes what? i becomes 3. Now i becomes 3. So S1 of 3, what is S1 of 3? Null. So it is null is not equals to null. This condition becomes false so that it will be jumping out of the loop. And it means that you have already reached to null character means you are already reached to the end of the string. Now from this particular location, we are trying to append the content of S2 in S1. Okay, so from this particular location, we will be adding the content of S2 in S1. So what we need to do? Now we will be adding one character at a time. So H should be added over here. Then E should be added over here and likewise. And this is to be repeated until the string 2 gets over. Until string 2 gets over. So for that, what we have written? J equals to 0 because now we are accessing string 2. So we will be having J variable here. So J becomes 0. S2 of J is not equals to null. Means what? You are trying to traverse through the string 2 and you need to traverse until and unless you will be getting null over here. So means S2 of J is not equals to null. What we need to do? We need to increment the value of J++ or we need to increment the value of J as well as we need to increment the value of I. Why so? Because we will be traversing in S2 and we will also be traversing in S1. So now just check out. We have already reached up to this location. This is null, right? Now what we'll do? J equals to 0. So now we write here J equals to 0 and S of J. So now what is H, S of J? So that is H. So this is H. Now H is not equals to Z, null. Condition is true. So S1 of I. What is S1 of I? S1 of I means S1 of 3 means this particular location equals to S2 of J. What is J? J equals to 0 and S1 of J is H. So this H will be copied on this particular location. So now this null will be replaced by H. Now we are incrementing the value of I and J both. So now J becomes 1. S1 of J becomes E. I becomes 4. Okay. So now S1 of 4 means this location, S1 of 4. What is to be copied over there? S2 of J. So S2 of J is what? E. So E will be copied over here. Now again I will be incremented. So I becomes 2. Now it is L. Sorry, J becomes 2. Now I becomes 5. So means this location. So now L will be copied over here. And this will be repeated. So H, E, L, L and then O. Okay. Now it will become. So by traversing this, this all we have covered. And now we reach to null character. So condition is null is not equals to null. Condition becomes false. So we will be coming out of this loop. So now you can see the string 1. It is H, I, comma. H E L L O. But we know that string should be terminated by null character. So that explicitly at the end of string 1, we will be adding null character. So for that we have written S1 of I. S1 of I is null. So now null is added over here. It means that this particular string is terminated or it is completed. And then finally we will be printing the value of S1. So when we print the value of S1, we can see H I comma H E double L O. So here you can see the output hi comma hello. So this will be the output. This is how 
we have copied the content of S2 into S1, but not from the beginning. The content of S2 will be added once the content of S1 gets over. So I hope you understood the concept. If you have any doubt, any query regarding this particular part, then you can easily ask us. You can write me also on 6 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you for watching the video.